wearing a mask in this era of pandemic was very crucial and be classified as our own alternative to break the chains of COVID-19. However, as we see now, every cases in our country and immensely growing day by day. Hmm. And then we took the advantage of technology to possibly encounter numerous problems occur in the world nowadays. And we could to announce that we launched our own apps of services. These unintentionally break or at least declining the rates of disease or the rates of virus spreads in our country. Without wasting any time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce to you guys our apps, MyHesi. MyHesi is then for the health care. Our apps will significantly enhance the quality of health institutions that we provide in the locally or globally. However, today we will discuss in the smaller scope of implementations which is we plan to providing our services with the corporations to Uniclinic. So as anything in this world nowadays, in only in our fingertips, one of benefits using our apps was assisted in preventing physical contact, especially in this era of pandemic. Maybe some of you deciding in exploring more benefits and features of using our apps so that finals in the next edition. Thank you. Bye bye. Meanwhile, for the product positioning, we have decided to position our product as a application that help to convey the convenience, especially for unique health clinic patients in getting their health care services with premium quality and at a very affordable price. And then for our marketing, we decided to use a uh, niche marketing or also called as concentrated marketing. It is a strategy that targets specific population with is for unique KL clinic. Reason why we use this marketing strategy is because less competition, brand loyalty, and expertise. Okay, next I will explain with you guys about market segmentation for this application. So basically, we have decided to segment our market into four groups, which is geographically, demographically, psychographically. So next, I will explaining about our apps. Our apps is consists of three major services, which is electronic health record (EHR). Doctor Appointment Booking System and e-consultation Furthermore, Doctor Appointment Booking System is a convenient way to book appointments No patient wants to spend hours waiting to book an appointment but with this application, they can make appointments scheduling quick and stress-free Patient can book an appointment from wherever they are and at any time and everywhere. These days, most people are internet and tech savvy. So they prefer to do everything on their smartphones and computers. With this application, it just makes things easier for everyone, especially for patient to book an appointment with the doctor. By this way, our application is not only help deliver convenience, it also help to limit the physical contact especially in this pandemic COVID-19. Okay, for the next point which I think it is very important for this project which is the financial part. So, in this project, we just need RM63,000 ringgit. This amount are estimated and counted based on how they can be diverged and allocated into two partitions. First, startup costs. For the startup costs, which include development of application, service allocation of application, and advertisement, it costs for 48,000 ringgit. Second, growth of business. For the growth of business with the cost that need in maintaining, 
stabilize the business which incurred of some of expenses and cost of app maintenance which cost for RM 15,000 ringgit then it can be total up for RM 63,000 which low cost and reasonable for the app development business okay so how this application work it is really worth it for spend this amount to this app then basically we allow our business grow into three quarter which six months per quarter for the first quarter we not focus focusing our revenue but we put the priority on collecting the database database which collect data of patient type of disease and how to cure a lastly list of medication for the second quarter, this phase, we start to make a little progress on revenue, but with more promotion, we can attract more people to subscribe to these apps. Promotion include the premium of membership and review on our service, so we can improvise our application. For the third quarter, this phase also have a slow increment of revenue, but we still stabilize our application because this phase where our customer is starting to increase and we hear all any trick or incapability of our application and do some maintenance. For the last quarter and this phase, we would really love to go through. This phase, we already have more user and our application are readily stable. We can gain the revenue to the maximum amount. Remember, more user and more stable of application, the maximum revenue is really promising. So, what happened if this app didn't go well on what we had planned? Don't worry, we already identified any threat and doing a lot of postmortem to make sure this project really happened. First, if server down, what should we do? We need to improve our server. Don't worry, we have cloud backup, our customer data. Second, we should have a maintenance day to fix the problem. And review by customer about our application will solve the problem and we know what the problem are. Then, if breach of data, we can make an agreement with SKMM for protect our data because they are powerful in Malaysia, which youth of people are using this application, it will help Ministry of Health in get more data with efficiently. But Pesh Adam say, you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you will win no matter what the outcome. Remember, in this pandemic COVID-19, kita jaga kita. Assalamualaikum.